Welcome, this is Coach Dorf. We're in section 3.1. Let's look at a homework example. So we, here we're supposed to differentiate two different functions. In part A, we have the function g of x equals one over the square root of x plus the fourth root of x. What we need to do now is to rewrite these so that each term has x to some power. Then we can use the power rule. So one over the square root of x. Well, the square root of x is x to the one half power. Because it's in the denominator, that's gonna mean one over the square root of x is equal to x to the negative one half power. Again, if something is in the denominator with a power, if I want to write it in the numerator, then I make that exponent negative. The second term, uh, I have the fourth root of x. So that's gonna be x to the one fourth power. Now to do the, pro the power rule, um, I take, we'll take the first one, x to the negative one half. I write down that negative one half, that exponent, put it out front, and then I take the x term and I take the previous exponent and subtract one from it. So I have negative a half minus one. For the second term, I bring the exponent out front by the power rule. I write the x down, and then I take the power, previous power, and I subtract one from it. So then I have that the derivative is negative one half x. Then I have negative one half minus one, which is negative three halves, plus one fourth x. And then I have one fourth minus one, and that's going to be minus three fourths. And that's my answer. All right, for part B, we have f of x equals 3x squared plus x cubed over x. And now you know we're going to use the power rule on this one, but you're going to say, wait a minute, I just don't have x to some power here. I've got a numerator and a denominator. Well, in a problem like this, what you can do is you can rewrite this as taking the 3x squared in the top and dividing it by the x plus the other term on the top, x cubed, and divide it by x. All right, so we're going to break, the, break this original problem into two different fractions, and then we can simplify it. So 3x squared over x is the same thing as 3x, and x cubed over x is the same thing as x squared. Now I can do the product the power rule, um, and I have the three x. When you say, well, what's the power there? Well, the power is one. So I have three times one. I bring the power out front. And then I do x, and then I do one, the previous power, minus one. For the second one, I bring the two out front, and then I have the x, and then I have two minus one. And then finally, I can simplify that Three times one is three. X to the one minus one. One minus one is zero. X to the zero is just one. So that's just gonna stay as one. So three times one is three. And for the second term, I have two, and then X to the two minus one power, which is just two X. All right, hope that helps.